everybody, my name is Aga Palalas and I'd like to welcome you to the webinar on best practices in mobile assisted language learning. At the end of this webinar, you should be able to identify best practices for mobile assisted language learning for its design, delivery, outcomes and learning experience. I'd like to start with a snapshot of benefits that are unique to mobile assisted language learning compared to other computer assisted language learning methods and tools, mobile learning offers the capability of taking learning outside of the classroom, of taking it into the real world environment, thus augmenting in class learning with real world practice. Thanks to communication tools, multimedia supports, and the portability of mobile devices, students can practice in relevant environments and they can pra practice all four language skills with the support of multimedia that is convenient and accessible. And access to language resources, to supports and scaffolds when necessary as well, to tutors and mentors, speakers of, of the language and other learners is another very um, um, essential capability of mobile learning, of mobile assisted language learning. Um, Bite-sized e-learning resources being delivered through the mobile devices to students is one of the most important components of spaced learning, where students are learning over time in smaller chunks. Um, this is extremely helpful for language learners who can actually access, for example, short five, 10 minute podcasts um, at a convenient time and they'll return to them whenever they are ready. And then what I consider one of the most vital aspects of mobile assisted language learning is the situated language practice. When students are able to practice the, the language, the authentic language, embedded in real language situations, but be careful to balance the combination on, of in-class uh, practice with the real world practice as well as the individual learning with collaborative learning and um, learning activities. Other key benefits of mobile assisted language learning would include the possibility to build in interactivity, creativity, fun and engagement into the mobile learning tasks and activities, um, enhancing students' motivation by context-inspired authentic content and challenges. Um, the possibilities to rehearse and practice in less threatening exp um, environment where students, for example, get to record their speech samples as many times as they need before they send it to their experts for evaluation. Um, the benefit of being able to create learning activities that are student-centered um, access to tools that let students capture data and record the learning process, um, as well as record, exchange, listen to speech um, samples, as well as written language samples, helping with student comp language comprehension, meaning making and expression. Um, the variety of language assessment tools and games that are available for mobile devices as well as all kinds of um, group language activities and scaffolds for such that can be communicated through mobile devices that students have in, a, in their pocket. Some of the most popular mobile assisted language learning tools will include email, web browser, audio and video player, voice recorders, camera uh, for photo and video recording and editing, note-taking tools, SMS and texting capabilities, as well as GPS and other location our capabilities of our, of our mobile devices. And how would students use those mobile tools? Well, for example, audio and video player can be used for language podcasts, for listening to audiobooks, for watching YouTube videos for the sake of, of practice. Voice recorders can actually help students 
um, rehearse and record um, multiple examples of their own speech and other people's speech, uh, record uh, student radio, for example, as part of a class activity, create mini stories, a little bit longer stories, either individually or as a group, um, and record speech samples for feedback and exchange them. Uh, similarly with camera, students can create communicative uh, capture, communicative, uh, communicative situations, and then analyze them and work with them. They can also create their own um, mini stories for evaluation and be really, really creative with role playing and, for example, stand up comedy episodes. And here are some examples of mobile apps that I encourage you to visit after the webinar. These would include um, tools that are quite often uh, used in mobile assisted language learning practice. And uh, these are tools for feedback, collection, polling, student response systems, vocabulary acquisition and learning supports, speaking and listening and pronunciation supports, as well as um, those tools that help with the integrated language practice. Now that I've given you a brief overview of mobile assisted language learning practices, I'd like to share with you a few findings from my research studies that focused in the area. Um, the study I'm referring to here resulted in a set of mobile assisted language learning guidelines and recommendations how to implement them. Um, a new theoretical perspective also emerged from the study findings. I refer to it as ecological constructivism. Ecological constructivism uh, was derived from social constructivism, social cultural theory of learning, ecological linguistics, and um, contextual and situated learning approaches. This theoretical framework um, emphasizes active learning around real life problems with language learning tasks and activities um, incorpor incorporating interaction that's often embedded in real world language situations. Viewed through the ecological constructivism lens, Mobile assistant language learning practice is based on communication and interactivity of learners in social contexts. The activity that's embedded in real life situations, language situations, and uh, the learning that's mediated by the mobile tool that the learners are using, as well as mediated by the interactivity with the context and the affordances that are available in, in the environment in which students are completing the language tasks and activities. Such affordances would be, for example, signals, sounds, um, behaviors, uh, pointers to various types of information that's accessible to learners in the environment and helps learners with labeling, with understanding, meaning negotiation, comprehension, and other activities involved in um, language practice. Following these theoretical principles, a set of mobile assisted language learning tasks was created, including um, collaborative multimedia dictionary, a bank of idioms, um, students' uh, radio, where students recorded interviews with uh, professionals and experts in various areas, a scavenger hunt that um, focused on vocabulary building, and some other mobile assisted language learning tasks that could be completed only with the help of mobile devices where students could collaborate on um, both in class and out of class activities. These eight language tasks were all interconnected and related to each other, and they focus on authentic communication challenges in the real world um, situations. They were both individual and collaborative, and there was um, expert guidance incorporated in the whole set of tasks. Um, the interaction included interaction with peers, experts, as well as native speakers of the English language. Um, a big portion of the task focused on creation and co-creation of language artifacts, and then those would be peer and expert evaluated as well as self-evaluated in some cases. 
using uh, mobile technologies and uh, features like liking, ranking, and rating of the various speech samples. Um, although the focus of all the tasks was listening skills, all four language skills were incorporated using the uh, multimedia capabilities of mobile tools. One of the main outcomes of my research on mobile assisted language learning would be guidelines for design and development of more tasks and activities. According to these guidelines, I recommend the inclusion of the following elements in your mobile assisted language learning design and uh, activities. Individual and collaborative tasks, learner generated linguistic artifacts, um, game like real life communicative tasks, as well as expert facilitation and guidance whenever needed and possible. Um, um, rich feedback mechanism that would include both delayed and uh, immediate feedback, as well as focus on authentic language practice. You would also want to incorporate self-paced individual language activities, integrate all four language skills practice, um, and give access to linguistic resources that are task related. So relevant vocabulary, dictionaries, pronunciation of the words, and uh, very clear task directions, as well as explanations and examples um, and modeling of um, language utterances. Um, and finally, support of out-of-class learning with in-class, face-to-face if possible, or at a distance, practice and instruction. So a blend of both um, individual, collaborative, in-class, and out-of-class if possible, a blend of all these language situations, language instruction, and language practice. You can visit my dissertation and other publications for more detailed discussion of mobile assisted language learning best practices, including the essential elements of uh, mobile assisted language learning practice, as well as design and recommendations on how to incorporate all the various components I mentioned into your design of mobile learning. Let me summarize the best practices for mobile assisted language learning with these few keywords. When designing for mobile learning, Make sure that students can replay and re-listen the language content. They can record their own artifacts, they can rehearse as many times as they need to and repeat as many times as it takes for them to feel comfortable and to learn. They can redo their practice using their mobile devices so that they can remember and so that they can reflect both on their learning content and their learning methodology and strategies. Plan your mobile learning activities in such a way that students have opportunities to utilize the unique features of mobile technologies, as well as the mobility of the students across the various contexts and locations. Also make sure that students have opportunities to communicate using the language that they're studying, that they get involved in collaborative activities, that they often connect either face-to-face -face or at a distance using mobile devices, that they co-create linguistic artifacts and construct knowledge together, that they acquire the language skills through interaction with others. It's also very important that that learning experience is contextuous in real life language practice whenever possible. I hope you enjoyed this webinar on mobile assisted language learning that we all picked up a few ideas that you're going to incorporate in your practice.